So hey guys, um, I am James, by the way, from Snapping Turtle Comics. Um, so I'm putting together a video really quick just to show you the process that I generally go through every day of sitting here trying to inventory the books and just show you guys a quick video of, it, of what the shop looks like right at the moment. It hasn't changed very much because I'm focusing more on doing inventory and getting that stuff done because that is, is fairly important. So here... On the screen, you guys can see that I have the website Comic Book Realm pulled up. I'm finding that this site is, is less prone to crashing and responds fairly well. And it's pretty good and accurate on their prices. At least they're fairly good, good about keeping up on them. So here is, is a list. This is only about 10,000 books so far. In the video that I'll show you here shortly, you'll see more of the inventory. So there's about 24,000 books sitting in the shop right at the moment outside of what else is in storage. Outside of, there's a lot more in storage. But we have here the list of books and stuff. Um, as you can see, it, it puts this in a very nice list format. And so it, when I go to go sell the books, I'm able to take them off of inventory fairly quickly. And if I needed to download the pictures, I can open up all the pictures very, fairly quickly too and download them as like a template if I were to go put them on eBay or other things. So here you guys can obviously see the, uh, the issue details and a couple of notes of, of what's, what box and other stuff that they're stored in. But what I came here to show you is right now what I'm doing is out of the 10,000 books, a little under half of what I have here at the shop. I'm sorting through and, and going to be pulling a set of books for, for conventions and stuff when we do go out and, and present at tables and, and we go pick up tables and other stuff. So here, obviously we see the familiar list format, but everything's all opened up and I'm just sorting out everything that is a certain price range or more. And generally these ones will go up on eBay. Um, anything that, that is over a couple bucks will, will go up on eBay. And anything else that's generally a dollar, because most people like to go out to comic book conventions and will go pick up stuff for their kids or something to read fairly quickly. And also, pardon me for the uh, background noise, there's kind of a storm going on outside. But generally what I'm doing is I'm sitting here and just adjusting the prices, how the price point that I would like to sell them. And after I'm done with all of this, I would go onto eBay or other auction sites and see what they are currently selling for and adjust the prices further. They go into a big master. Once they're finalized, they go into a big master Excel. So we have this full list for the inventory. So when we get it up on the server for the uh, point of sale system, we are able to do everything we need to in order to sell the books. So as we can see right now, this is about 40 long boxes worth of books. So a pro uh, 11,000 books um, so far. It's like around 10 or 11,000 books. There goes my headphones trying to shut off on me. <laughs> well, we can see here that they have the value, of what we, the general idea of what I paid for them. Um, it, this gives you the profit range and everything else, and the asking price that I would generally have up on the site. So, generally for me, as a shop, people are concerned about having too many back issues. Um, since we really don't have any established shop right at the moment, we're not opened up. We do pick up books. We pick up new ones, and we also pick up old, older generation books, older era books from people such as from auctions, or we go to their houses and go and pick them up. So, unfortunately, a lot of those books are, you know, underneath five bucks. They're not worth much. Maybe you can sell them for a quarter, uh, 50 cents, a dollar. It just depends. A lot of these books, people will also pick them up for scrap projects or other things that they're doing, little art projects that they're doing. But here we can see that yes, I have a whole lot more dollar books than anything else. And those books generally will go into our dollar bins or go to the cons with us so people at the cons can you know, buy a souvenir for themselves or go get a book signed for, for fairly cheap so they don't feel like they're getting ripped off. Uh, me as a shop, I want to... Me and my partner um, in our shop, we want to make this as fair as possible. We're not generally in this for the profit. We want to be able to introduce this hobby to kids, you know, collecting the comic books, you know, falling in love with a superhero again. 
and that's what kind of drove the both of us to to do things and and to get this started and get, and push to get it started so generally what I'm about to show you is a video of the, the shop right at the moment, kind of what the more of like a little more of what the layout is right at the moment. You've seen pictures, you've seen still pictures of stuff, but this is kind of like the disarray that is going on right now as I'm trying to get this set up. It's a very difficult process because we're starting from scratch with uh, with very little money to do this. But we are getting there, and even being not even having an established right now, we're still making a decent amount that we need to in order to survive. And even just off the amount of dollar books that we have, it's that's what I sell the most of is most of my dollar books, uh, either on eBay or cons. Most of this stuff, there's people out there that yes, do go out and pick up a hundred, two hundred dollar book, uh, even more sometimes, but it doesn't happen very often. So here, the video I'm going to show you is layout of the shop. More videos will be coming soon as the progress goes on. You'll see what we're building. We're going to see you're going to see the ideas, the sketches, and the drawings of everything of how we want the shop to look like once we do finish and open up here in our hometown. And we're planning on having a game center where we'll have toys, we will have cards, we will have comic books, and you know, it'll just be a place for, for somebody to escape for a little while. So here in the video, I'll, I'll try to explain it a little bit too, as things go along. So unfortunately here, you can see my dog sleep, sleeping on a blanket right at the moment. But there's a lot of tools and junk laying around, um, empty boxes, uh, short boxes, and a bunch of other stuff that we're going to be using for the shop to, when we open up. Here I just have them laid out in a simple format, so that if I find straggler books, you know, in one of the short boxes, I know where to get the book and put it down. Um, dividers for everything so we can easily identify all the, the, the books that we need. And don't kill me on the way things are stacked, it's, it's kind of... Yeah, kind of a hassle at the moment. But things are just everywhere. A complete mess of things. And um, I spend most of my days here. And just so I can get things going and working. Because a project, this is a huge project to do, you know, starting from literally nothing to having um, an established shop. the other one back up there we go so I look forward to hearing from you guys and hopefully we will get to know all you guys better and you guys will see how we progress and so maybe if this is your dream one day you'll be able to do it yourself and you'll have a better understanding of it uh, we're free for any questions and we will keep you guys updated we'll have the shop opened up here within the next couple months and it's a website so you guys can pick up books as needed and we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. Thank you for everything, and we will catch you guys later. Bye.